got the stabilizer front, which we placed on a flat surface and glued to the stabilizer rear using thin CA. Let's take a look at one of the tips. As you can see, we've installed the quarter inch square piece on both the right and the left tips, as well as on the elevator. We've then placed the stabilizer over the plan and rather carefully using a pencil or a felt tip marker, we've marked the hinge locations and there are six. We've then transferred those locations over here onto the elevator by placing the two together and just carrying the line right across. In the same manner, we've put together the fin, front and rear, again on a flat surface using thin CA glue. The rudder will fit on the back, and let's see if we can get that, like this. And I think it's time now that we take a look at how we hinge these two parts together. Our friends at Dubro have come up with some clever devices to help do this job, one that's frustrated modelers for many years. They have a very small plastic device here, which helps us locate the center of the piece we're hinging, and a cutting tool, which allows us to poke a slot into that piece of wood very accurately through this tool. Let's just see how it works. We place it centered over our mark, take the pointed device, and press firmly into the balsa. Got to be a little bit careful that we don't get it off center too much. We'd like to stay dead center if possible. And then with the tool removed, we can just work our way back in once or twice to straighten the hole out. And finally, in the little kit, there's a balsa picker tool for want of a better word, which we're going to use to get the section out of the middle here. And you can see it comes out pretty easily. Out it comes. And we can clean it up there, brush it away. Now let's get one of Dubro's hinges. The Dubro hinge has a metal pin and it's very, very free. Doesn't put any bind into the system if it's installed properly. Let's see if that fits into the slot that we've been working to make. There we go. We've made one other slot up here. Let's take a look at that one. Again, good. As we did before, we're going to transfer the lines onto the rudder. And using our tool once again, let's see if we can cut another slot as nicely as the first one. Again, we're working carefully to make sure we push straight into the piece. Don't want to go off at an angle and have it come shooting out the side. And that should be deep enough. Again, we'll pick out small bits of balsa. You'll notice the nice part of this system is it doesn't force you to draw center lines. The centering is done by the tool, and it's pretty darn accurate. You'll find this has a lot to do with well-controlled models. Let's get another hinge out and see how that works. And there we go. In fact, at this point, with only one hinge, we're in a position to try these two together. And there we go. Let's see if they work. As you can see, we've got a part that moves pretty freely. It's our intention when we're done to have a part that moves just this freely, and we'll show you later in the production how these parts are glued together after the model's been covered. <laughs> I'd like to take a second to suggest that you join the AMA before you attempt to fly your model airplane. The AMA, and that's the Academy of Model Aeronautics, is an umbrella organization here in the United States for model aviation.